So today we're going to be looking at the C2 and breaking down how the ship works. However, we're going to focus on the cockpit itself and some of the techniques that they're using here. So obviously, if you've been watching the previous videos, you would see quite a few decals already being uh, predominantly used, even all the way up here. That's really nice. Just jump into material mode. Now, I did have to fudge the materials a little bit here in Blender to get it working. Um, but it's all these like little details around all the buttons and so on and so forth. So if we kind of have a look here, we can see how we've got words, we've got the outlines there, which is great. This console here, I thought there would have been a lot more words here, but there hasn't. What we're actually going to do is I'm actually going to jump into the game because I own this ship. Um, and if there's a ship that you want me to buy, let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll do a breakdown of it in game and out of game. But let's jump into the game and have a look. And there she is. Look at that, the C2. Mm -mm -mm. I'm really still marveling at just the hangar space and how cool it looks. But walking up into the C2 in the whole internal hangar section still amazes me looking on the left. We've already done this in a previous video at uh, checking out all the decals. But let's head up to the other area. The walkway, plenty of decals on the door. We'll do another breakdown on this all again at a future video, but I have done this probably about a year or two ago on it. Now walking straight in, let's have a quick squeeze at what we're actually looking at. Now, like I did to say before, there were, I thought there were words on the panels and there are words in the panels and we can actually see the lines that go around it, even the extra details of just those lines around the dials. I think it's just delish. The words at the top as well. So this is going to be perfect when we start going ahead and creating the internals of our spaceship. You can just really see the decals. Now, even coming into the center console, I thought there were words, swear there was words, and there are words. And I'm very grateful that I am semi-remembrant. <laughs> so if we look at the fan details, now, like modeling all this would have been stupid annoying. And it's just such a simple fix. And I feel so stupid for not knowing this. Uh, someone in the comments recently said, oh, Cinema 4D has been doing this for 20 years. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But it's like a forgotten art or something. Like, why? Mm, I don't understand why nobody was talking about this. Um, going through this as well is that because we've got these decals means that technically we could move these decals if we had them in separate objects so we could create emission decals. I mean, we can create them by changing the material. But it's more, I kind of really wanted to break down, just show you these simple lines that we don't have to bake everything. So it's just opening up so many possibilities. It's just ridiculous because we're in game at the moment. We're looking at it. I love this control panel. It's there, but no buttons work. <laughs> Even the icon in the center of the steering wheel is, yeah, simple decal. I like this emission words as well. So that's where I was talking about. We could change the material to get that emissions. Um, now, I'm pretty sure I turn around and have a quick look at the chair Rooney. No, I look at the top section of the dashboard here. And that's something that I did think about on the um, my ship. However, looking at the chair, you can actually see the stitching and how they've done that in terms of the decals there and using the trim sheets and so on and so forth. Now you can see how we can relate this to Blender. Now to get this kind of design here, I actually started playing around with this idea and I'm gonna show you on the ship that we've been building together. Um, this has been the ground that I've been working on, putting a lot more decals on and so forth. This is the control panel that we built not long ago. Look at that. <laughs> now, funny enough, this isn't done with decal machine, all these kind of like uh, letters and these outlines. I actually did this externally, externally, I mean within Blender. I actually created a trim sheet. Now this trim sheet here will be downloaded, available to download on Patreon. And let's say once I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'll release it for free. So like and subscribe. So here is the, um, that's just terrible seat. Here you can see that I started building out the cockpit itself. However, you know, I haven't really done too much to it, but it's kind of like, let's just start getting an idea around what we can actually do with it and using those like letter decals. So coming over here onto these buttons, for instance, what we can do is, where's that little circle one? Click and drag, we put it into there, scale it down. 
Now I'm finding that when we're clicking and dragging it in, it's not putting it in the right place. So I still have to go G and hold control to snap to face. And that's because I've got my snapping here set to face as well. And then if we kind of like realign it, shift D, G, good enough. Rotate 90, there we go. Not too bad. And then we can even like even slap these onto the um, buttons themselves. Um, the fact that it's not coming through, I've got a really, I got a feeling that these normals are facing the wrong way. Let's go check that out. Yep, well done, Marco. Shift N, flip those normals. Let's go ba back into face orientation. G, hold control, snap that back. And then we can do that with a few of them. Hold control, snap, FTL. What a great game, never finished it. I hated that game because I could never finish it. And now we can see that these are all out of scale but because they're all part of the same blend file and the same trim sheet, we can grab, like for instance, let's go 0.05. There we go. And I'm just gonna paste the scale onto these three. And now they're both the exact same, both three. Price the exact same. So already just like that, you can see how we've already added in quite a bit of extra details. Now the other cool thing as well is, let's say we wanna do it on this joystick. We can actually grab parts of decals. So if I slap that on there, and we'll scale that down. It's weird that it's off. Rotate ZZ 90. Don't forget that although we've got a decal like this, it doesn't have to remain like this. So for instance, if we were to move that up, and then I were to put a slice in here, delete face, we now have that extra graphic kind of like working like that. Now, because of the, the way that the decals are set up, we can move it on the X, Y, and Z axis by double tapping. So for instance, if we were to dump this here, G, scale. Now if I press X, obviously it's just gonna move along the X axis, but if I press X again, it's gonna move it on the object orientation. Yes, good enough word. So rotate ZZ, Z, and it'll be on the axis of that. Oh, yes. So you can kind of see how, like the smarts that they've used around that, even this circle bit, I mean, technically, there's nothing stopping us from going Shift D. Let's go G, put it there. I'm gonna scale this puppy up, G, Y, Y. Put that around there, like so. And I'm going to uh, make this clean decal. <laughs> Let's actually uh, come back into our other one, our other control panel. What else could we do here? Uh, we could probably even drop down some arrows as well. So if we go to rotate ZZ, oh, look at that. It's like push this button. I mean, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, why did I not do this earlier? So uh, here as well, I was mucking around with some other kind of like ideas. So we've got this one decal here, we actually like sliced it in half. So just because we've got a plain decal doesn't mean we have to keep it as is. So if we were to move that up, let's scale it up a smidgen. Ah, that one looks stupid. Um, but then we've got kind of like this one that we created. G, snap it in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and so the ship is coming along, coming along slowly but surely. The problem I'm having is with decal machine and exporting it to Unreal Engine. So let me just quickly show you where I'm at. Still trying to work out how to export the decals properly so they actually come across into Unreal Engine. Uh, doing some testing here but the decals that I created straight off my uh, trim sheet have come through successfully without any dramas. And obviously this is before that we created that other video. Um, these textures here, they're a free download, but anyway, like and subscribe, because once I work this out, I will put a video and it'll be all yours.